Welcome to another BASI Systems tutorial. Today I'm going to address the adjustment of the foot bar. I know that seems a little daunting and this foot bar is such an exceptional foot bar. I mean it's one that you can put so much weight onto if you're working with big people with some big men big athletes and often they feel that the foot bars on the Pilates equipment is very uh, for want of a better word flimsy it, it it's not going to support their huge weight as you can see I designed this to be extremely sturdy so that it can take an enormous weight at the same time it has this lovely cushioning on it that is firm and has some texture to provide grip for the feet and sometimes the hands. What is sometimes a little confusing in the beginning are the different adjustments. So let's start with the adjustments. You will see these levers and I'm going to encourage you to leave those alone. We call them the locking and unlocking levers or knobs and they simply should not be touched unless you are using the mat conversion and that I'm going to address in a different tutorial. So these two should remain locked at all times. These are the adjusting knobs. Now, you will notice that there is a deep groove and a shallow groove. Again, a deep groove and a shallow groove. When you pull that out, it will go either all the way down into the deep groove or rotate at 90 degrees and then it will sit comfortably in the shallow groove. When you do that on the other side, now the bar will go up and down freely. So again, these locking and not locking knobs are simply left in their locked position. We call the shallow groove the unlocked position. And once we put it into the deep groove, that is the locked position. So, what I'm going to encourage you to do is to put one of them in the unlocked position. I've got this one in the unlocked position. This one, I actually just allow it to find the hole. You pull it out of the locked position, let it rest on the aluminum, and then it finds its hole. Once it finds the hole, take the other one, rotate it and make sure they are both now in the locked position. So again, you can put either in the unlocked position. I take this, I put it on the aluminum and I let it simply find its place. There is the low position or that we call that in fact the down position. No bar. low bar which is 40 degrees high bar 60 degrees and vertical bar which is 90 degrees remember one and this uh, now has a very very firm position it's a very firm setting remember to once you've locked one side in to lock the other side in. They are both locked in. This is not going anywhere. You can put as much weight as you want on that. And this is perfect for shorter people. It is designed to take weight and to support the heavy uh, body. Again, I put this in the unlocked position. I now let that find its place at 60 degrees. I rotate this to the locked position and they are both well in place and well secured. 
I'm going to show you now how I can unlock that one and use this as my locking one. I'm now low bar. I rotate that into the locked position. The little pins go down into that deep groove and that's where it sits. I know it seems a little more difficult in the beginning, but once you get the hang of it, it is simply like second nature. Rotate. I unlock that one finds its position, finds its position, and here you have your high bar position. And remember, we have the benefit of a vertical, perpendicular, 90 degree angle. 90 degrees, 60 degrees, 40 degrees, and all the way down. Thank you so much for attending this tutorial.